weather in Sierra Leone and Liberia. Um, when people, when most people think of Africa, they think, oh, savannas and lions and tigers and elephants and and whatnot. But in uh, in Sierra Leone, it's very much tropical. <laughs> it's on the coastline, and so a lot of people don't know that there is a tropical rainforest in Africa, but there is. Um, and so that's kind of what you're living in the heart of in Sierra Leone and Liberia. So there's not really a cold time of year. It's just you know. I think I measured one time, it's about, you're about nine degrees away from the equator. So it's uh, hot and humid. Like I've never experienced humidity like I've, like there is in Africa. And I remember when I walked off the airplane in Ghana, it was like hitting a wall of water. Just poof, the air is just thick. And so that, that uh, it, it makes you, it doesn't, it doesn't, even though the temperature probably doesn't get much above the 80s, it still makes you sweat a lot and so that's one thing you have to be prepared for is sweating and uh, so uh, that you sweat a lot there's in Sierra Leone and Liberia because it's in uh, that, that part of the world they have what is called a wet and a dry season in the wet season uh, it rains a lot and so it rains probably you know I, I grew up in Utah and I think that they probably receive more rain in about four hours than we receive in an entire year there. It, it, uh, it rains and when it rains, it pours. It'll, it'll rain so hard that I remember holding an umbrella above my head and the rain was coming through the umbrella because it was hitting it so hard. It's just dumping buckets of water on top of your umbrella. And so uh, consequently, there's a lot of mud during that time of year because you know they don't have a whole lot of paved roads. You know they they are getting them. The country is definitely developing and getting things like roads. But for the most part, you're walking around on dirt paths, and dirt paths turn into mud paths when you know, when it's raining. And so uh, it's it's you know, I've heard of elders slipping when they're going up a mountainside, and you get mud all over you. But it's 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 just part of the part of life. And and then during the dry season is less rain and so these dirt paths that you are walking on become dust paths and so I, I you can call it the rainy season or dry season i call it the mud season or the dust season you know it's just what it just depends on what you what you're going to get all over your shoes that day is it going to be mud or is it going to be dust and so um uh during the dry season you yeah like i said it, it's just it's a lot of dust you're not dealing with the rain quite as much you're still dealing with a lot of humidity more than more than is is common in, in most other places but um, there is less rain. Uh, the rainy season, dry season, each lasts for approximately six months. It's about half and half. Uh, half the year is, is wet and half of it is dry. Um, but there, were, uh, there was one time, uh, here's a good experience dealing with rain. There was one time that I was in my very first area actually with my trainer and and uh, it must have been the rainy season because one day it uh, a, a storm kicked up that uh, it was one of the storms to end all storms. It seems like every year they have one of these just torrential storms. And uh, it was started at the beginning of the day before we had gotten a chance to go out. And to go, to go out to the rest of the town from our apartment, we had to cross a road, um, a dirt road. But during the rain, this road became a river. <laughs> and so we during this, this particular rainstorm, it was literally a raging torrent. Just the you know imagine white water white, white water rafting down the road in front of your house you you could probably do it but there uh we uh we talked on the phone with the i think with the assistants and they said you know go out if you can but don't feel pressured to you know try and brave this if you don't have to and i remember in my living in my apartment there was one other companionship and they tried going out that day um, at first, and, and they, they, there really was not a better way to, to get out other than crossing this road. And so they tried getting across the road, and one of them got knocked down. Either they fell in a hole or the current pushed them over or something, and they fell in the water and they came back to the apartment. And, and uh, so we waited it out for a little while longer before we tried to brave it. And I remember another time in that same area, uh, still with my trainer, in fact, that it started it, it you know we were already out it was it was you know already part way through the day and this is actually when we were heading home so it was more in the evening time and my trainer and i uh got caught in this huge rainstorm and so of course we took shelter for a little while but when it doesn't stop and you have to get back to your apartment you just gotta brave it and we only had one umbrella and it was the umbrella that i had brought 
on my mission. Very small umbrella because you know I wanted it to be compact so I could carry it around with me but it ended up to be a little bit too small because uh, my companion was kind of a broad-shouldered guy and you know, I was kind of a, a thin guy but we the two of us, I held the umbrella and we just kind of wrapped our arms around each other and just started booking it through this rain, just, you know, just as, as close as we could get and still, you know, rain coming down through the umbrella because, you know, no, no umbrella is equipped for that rain, I don't think, but, and then we, of course, we got to this raging river and in order to get back to our apartment and so you know the only way to get to our apartment is to cross this river and so we both kind of just ran through the water as fast as we could trying to preserve our shoes because you know it's it's uh it's not that fun to walk in wet shoes but we uh anyway i mean we made it back you know what no one ever really got hurt in the rain i don't think but we sure had our share of adventures sometimes getting through that rain